And that's all we really talk about. Did you know that love can never fail you? Never. When you trust it. And it's a fact. Um, Goethe, the German writer, poet, he said, all our petty concerns fall away when we contemplate the infinite. And love is your essence, it is your infinite. So today I'd like to emphasize the fact of trusting love. Um, the subject is a little different today because I've been asked a lot of questions about Bert, what addictions do we develop when we do not trust who we are? When we are not, haven't realized who we are and live from the idea that we're just a body? What happens? So today we're going to go into that, but I'd like to, to emphasize one thing, that as we discuss these different addictions, which some of them are not very, quote, very nice, <laughs> please understand that if you find yourself in that category, Say hooray, not pity me. This is very, very important. Because the one, once you become aware that what you are going through, if it happens to be emotional suffering, it is because you need love, rather than recognizing you are love. So what I'd like to emphasize today more than anything is to know the difference between love <clears throat> and needing love. It's a vast, it's a, it's a completely, totally opposite, like two sides of the same coin. Every time you need love, it's like a little betrayal of your love nature. It is like saying subconsciously, I need love because I do not see myself as love. You see? And from that need comes all the addictions that we suffer, and we'll, we'll go through them today and why that happened. Initially, just very briefly to recap what we did last week, what happens initially is that we think um, we are just a body um, and we begin to feel that there is something missing. Many people, and, and I know that for a fact because I do hypnotherapy, um, many people feel, I feel like something is missing, I am not good enough. There's something wrong, and so on and on and on. And this is very, very common. And it's common because, again, we miss that feeling of totality, that inner fulfillment that is, all, that is really us. This moment itself. But because of that, we become uh, controlling. Now, the control is broken into three segments. Okay? One is the need for control, which has its own addictions. Then there is the fear of losing control, which creates another three very strong addictions. And then there is the need, or, or rather the fear of being controlled. Okay, so now I'd like you to um, pay clo close attention, because when you begin to understand this, this is all a need for love. That's all they are. They are not real. I, I want to emphasize this because when I talk about addictions, people get the feeling, oh, I'm addicted to that. And they have a, a, a look as if, oh, <laughs> okay, no. It's a celebration when you're aware of what is holding you back from the beautiful love that you are. Okay, you are really perfect. You are beautiful just as you are. Okay, so what happens then <clears throat> when we do not, when we need love because we don't think we are love? And if you want to know how many people need love, read the newspapers, go on the internet, look at all the relationship clubs that are, you know, and it's, it's rampant. Everybody is seeking something, but it's all love that you seek. And, 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 you know, very few people are aware of that. But we think of love as emotional love. No. Love covers every area of life. Every facet of life. To repeat what makes the earth rotate around the sun. What makes the flowers grow in spring, <clears throat> or most of the year. What makes the fetus in a womb 
become a breathing, living human being. It is the intelligence of love which is all caring, all embracing. <clears throat> and the universe is a very loving place, believe it or not. And there is never a prayer that, done in love that is not returned. So let's see what, what, what happens when we need love. Okay? So right now we have a need to be in control. Now why do we need control? Because control is love itself. But we make it personal control. But love itself is a win-win situation. Love itself is the real control, is the real power, because in fact it is the greatest power in the universe. There is no force greater than love. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so therefore, we have to understand the difference here, needing love and knowing you are love. And how do you know you are love? All you have to do is just be still and really listen to your heart. But we'll go into that. Um, so control. Now, if you need control because you do not feel that love, this means you're trying to get personal love your own way, the way you want it, the way you need it. So here we develop three kind of addictions. One addiction is called greed. Now this word greed is, sounds horrible, but um, it's, it's, it has many, many different levels. For example, one kind of greed is I never have enough. You know, I have to keep shopping for clothes, for different shoes, for food. I can never have enough food I like to eat. Ice cream and all this, you know, blah, blah, blah. I never never enough you see and this need for more of course is because maybe we've been deprived when we were younger maybe we don't feel good enough and and we have this need to get more and more and more but of course you cannot fill the void inside you how can you the void can never be filled because it was never empty it was love itself which feels empty when when we do not know it you see so, so greed uh, can cover many, many different areas, but to make it very simple, it is the need for more and more and more. It's never quite enough. If it comes to pleasure or sex, wow, and I can never have enough sex. And the more you are a sp uh, sexual athlete, you know, you run around with different women, then it's never enough. Then you simply don't commit, get committed anymore and you go from one to the other, one to the other. Because every time you are with a woman and reaching orgasm, you say, wow, I'm there. Did you know that the moment of orgasm there's no ego? And that's a fact, you see? So, but we got those moments when we feel loved and then we get addicted and we want more and more and more. <clears throat> Okay, so greed takes many different areas, and if you'd like to, you know, maybe ask me questions about how greed takes different forms, because um, I might miss out a lot here in giving examples. Another one is impatience, which is the need for control. Now, impatience also comes from the need for love, because when we are young, we were told, maybe, be useful amount to something, get A's in school, be good, you see? And so it comes in the form of doing. And you become very, very busy. You're always doing this and doing that and going here and going there and belong to this or belong to that. Or, uh, and in the internet, you belong to this club or that club or you write these people and those. You're always busy because if you're not, you feel, gosh, I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my life here. But what happens is, you don't realize it, that you're filling your life with so much activity that you become overwhelmed. And then you become very impatient. Don't interrupt me, leave me alone. I've got too much to do, I haven't got the time. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that's, and now we go into uh, arrogance, which is the need for love. And our arrogance is a mask we wear to hide our impotence. <clears throat> and believe it or not, many spiritual seekers fall in this category. I've been one of them. <clears throat> 